Five Chicago Park District facilities will no longer be used as emergency shelters for migrants. Some facilities will need maintenance as the city says the parks are no longer needed. Tia Ewing is live in Edgewater with more. Tia. Well, Don and Scott, the city says the migrants will be moved to shelters nearby, but one migrant who I spoke to who's now living here temporarily at the Broadway Armory Park told me he's not sure where he's going, but that he and three of his children will have to be out of here in 23 days. They extended the time until April 17th to me and my family. From there, I don't know what's going to happen with us. Jorge has been calling the Broadway Armory Park in Edgewater home for four months, along with his three children. And come next month, they have to go. They're going to send us to where we arrived first. We arrived at the 16th district. He says he's being sent back to the police station, but the city says migrants will be sent to other shelters. Save our park. The Armory started operating as a shelter in August of last year, providing a temporary home for 300 migrants bused from Texas. The shelter site is for families. For other Chicago Park District facilities that currently serve as temporary emergency housing will be vacated so summer programming can resume. By March 30th, our Gage Park facility will be clear of all the migrants that are taking up residence there and that we will have full access to the field house by mid-April. That means school programs, summer camps, fitness centers, and other activities can go on. Ray Lopez, alderman of the 15th Ward, says it's time, but hopes the city creates a long-term plan. As we are removing these individuals from the shelters and as the eviction process is continuing, are we simply not making a homeless problem even worse now flooding the streets with homeless migrant asylum seekers? So we want to make sure that we're not simply taking it from one section and putting it into another. Two, we should use this pause as a way to recalibrate our efforts. And I do want to point out the fact for several weeks, no buses carrying migrants had been coming to the city of Chicago, but just this past weekend, two did arrive. So now this begs the question, what is the city's plan if hundreds or even thousands start showing up here in the city of Chicago all over again? Live from Edgewater tonight, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago.